Welcome to the American Society of Magical Negroes. Okay, this is probably going to get me a strike because look, this is who the fuck greenlit this goddamn movie? Who told grandpa? Who told racist grandpa that he could name a film? The American Society of <laughs> Magical Negroes. Now, you may not take offense as use use of the word Negro, but I do. People in my family do. They they, they use it as a derogatory term, the N word and stuff. So, so, you don't use that, and now they just put it inside a goddamn not not like hidden inside a someone's bad dialogue. At the fucking title of the movie. What the hell is wrong with these people? They actually think that they're going to get away with this shit? That people are actually going to go out and watch this? I say... Yeah. <laughs> Seth John Stone said, Kill it before it's dead. <laughs> before he's... <laughs> you cannot... Make stuff like this. This... Just the title of itself is an insult to black people, and then we watch the trailer. It just plays into every heavy-handed <coughs> uh, demonization of white people. It's like every racial stereotype, every of uh, either white or black, is in this fucking trailer. It, it's. <coughs> It's not only upsetting because it's it's there because it actually exists. It's upsetting because someone had to create this in order for the trailer to come about, and no one said no. Not one person said no. That's why if you're gonna protest the goddamn film, I want not just people protesting in the streets about this blatant use of racial stereotypes and trying to start a race war, but I want the director, the producer, damn it, even the actors, yes, the actors, if you're a black actor and you're a white actor and you participate in this film, no, no, go to their houses, find out where they live and just protest, it doesn't make any sense, and now I know I'm going to get a strike for this because but yes, you need to protest this stuff. This is, and this this stuff needs to be boycotted from the beginning, not just the movie itself. But you start boycotting and stop watching all the films and all the other credits of anybody that participated in this film. Just stop watching it. It is not worth your time and effort to try and do things like, oh yes, it's a known trope. Okay, calling something a trope doesn't make it less of what it really is. What it really is, is racist. <laughs> it's goddamn racist. You can't go around saying stuff like this. It's, it's one of those things that we always think that we've gotten rid of. You know, you think, have you ever seen Amos and Andy and all this other stuff that Disney got rid of all the blackface characters in, in their cartoons and everything else. You think you're moving forward, that you're progressing, and then some jerk, some asshole thinks that he can get away with this. And I don't care if this jerk or asshole is black or white. They are just an idiot for even trying this stuff. Now, this is an old man's rant. Because I am older than most people that probably go say, yeah, it's a comedy, it's funny, it's a rom-com and everything else. I'm a little No, it's not. You are just stupid. <laughs> Do not watch this fucking... Don't even watch the trailer. If you see the trailer, shut it down. I only show a bit of this just to show you what the hell is going on. Do not play into Hollywood's hands. I mean... What is this supposed to tell biracial kids? What is this supposed to tell people growing up that don't see their friends of a different color? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most dangerous animal in the world is a white man. Uh, the most magical thing in the world is a black man. 
this is a fantasy that I don't care how much this film costs. This is this film is not Spike Lee or Robert Townsend, like bringing up, bringing about some form of uh, awakening in people by creating some artistry. This is just total bullshit. <laughs> this is Key and Peele did a skit on this. They did a sketch on this, and it was quite funny. But it was a couple of minutes long sketch, and then it was considered. And you know, it's Key and Peele that it's comedy right from the start. This movie has no nothing before it. There is no explanation. Anyone diving into the middle of this film will just probably assume that hey, yeah, this is the way people talk. This is what people do. Now. Everybody wants to talk about, yeah, this is like a black Harry Potter, a black this, black that, and everything. And my question to you, goddamn numb nuts, is why does everything have to be a black version of something? Why you, can't you just put black people in there? You walk down the street, one in ten people is black, one in ten people is Hispanic. Why can't one in ten people be black in your film? And uh, black people would be happy with that, because that's all we really want. We don't want you to make a whole film about all the black people in the world being in one city and no white person ever showing up ever inside of the film because this is not fucking reality. And the reality is that doing stuff like this is just a pure cash grab. And I want you to let them know that they cannot grab cash from us. Just... I hope more creators on YouTube and everywhere else make videos about this telling people, boycott this before it lives. Don't wait until March. You know what? Boycott it so hard that they have to actually stop showing the trailer. And that would satisfy me.